Next speaker might be just an inch or two, maybe taller than you. Is the executive director at the Uganda Bankers Association, my very good friend, Wilbur Owo. Uh, <laughs> I think it might be a draw. Uh, please welcome Wilbur as he comes to speak on behalf of the Uganda Bankers Association. Thank you very much for, for that one. And um, I liked the, the comedian who has really amused us. Very interesting story about uh, manga that just shows um, how next media is innovative. Let me start with a, a few protocols. I'll keep it short. The Honorable Minister present and the Permanent Secretary as well. Our regulators, both from UCC and Bank of Uganda, our distinguished guests, I want to cut it short, and Next Media. Thank you very much for, I think what you have done, which I'm thanking you for, is joining hands, putting everything together. Because what we are launching today is a multi-faceted approach. And it's starting with the customer who is the end beneficiary. And what you are doing is really customer empowerment. I think uh, Sylvia spoke about it. The important line of defense the, being the customer. These days, fraud is a full-time business. I hope you agree with me on this. People invest in it. It's a full-time occupation, and therefore coming together to work against it is very important. When, when the skit was happening here, about two, week, two weeks, two, two weekends ago, somebody called me and said, Madam, nanyini sime neriwa. You know that? My phone. <laughs> and they were asking for my wife. <laughs> and they wanted to, to the, the, the fraud alone was bad enough. But even asking for my wife on my phone <laughs> was even worse. Uh, of course, I immediately switched it off. Uh, I know that these were fraudsters. But the, the bulk of the population doesn't know this. And they fall into this trap uh, and get away with it. And therefore, this awareness campaign is very, very critical, not just to raise awareness and literacy or drive behavior change, but take ownership about fraud by the customer. This country has registered progress, and we should be speaking about it. Uh, and thanks to the efforts, the numerous efforts of government. Today, there are 20.6 million bank accounts, thanks to the efforts on the digital front. And most importantly, our partners in the mobile telecom network, who we work with and reach those previous areas we never ever used to reach as banks. Of course, that has meant mobilization of deposits, which we can then own land. 24-7 services. I think we must guard these achievements jealously. We must not allow, we must not relent to fraudsters to undermine these important achievements. And even as media, and, and fraud, like I said, it's not only a business for us in the financial sector. We even make provisions for it, because 24-7, People are attempting to beat the system. And actually, less than two or less than two, three percent of the attempts succeed, meaning more than 97 percent of the time we fail those frauds. And therefore, the systems and processes are quite resilient and strong. But the one or two cases that happen, they are blown up so badly. Sometimes, in fact, this, this campaign will also help in responsible journalism, especially financial sector reporting. Because the implications of careless reporting can be very huge. Anything that undermines a financial sector, the ecosystem, it is now beyond banks, MNOs, fintechs, it is a way of life. And therefore, I like this campaign. As an industry, we've sat as an executive and agreed that we associate with it as a full industry and support it fully. Because, thank you, because we, this is big and it has implications. 
men, all the people we employ in the banking sector come from among us. They are our children, our relatives, uh, our friends, contacts, qualified people. And we are not going to get people from elsewhere other than the Ugandans who can do these jobs. But each time we have a fraud case and we arrest them and they face disciplinary action, um, they, they, I don't know what's happening. Either there's a young culture or something. Somebody is asked and says, even if I'd worked for 10, 15 years, I would never have made this money. Okay? So, so there's quite a lot that will go into this campaign as well, and we will equip it with experiences, best practices, examples, as much as possible. And I, I like the way Next Media has positioned it. When they came to see us, uh, they told us the secret. I always watch news on NBS. I didn't know why Kasumba, you know, does these things the way. I didn't realize they have targets for followership. <laughs> now you know. You are, you, I'm sure you are like me as well. The guys have targets. And I think these are ways of, and, and combined, they have a huge following. I think they mentioned about eight or nine uh, presenters, and they had over and above 10 million you know, combined following. So the, the, the way they've structured it, they speak in a language that will best be picked by our population, because sometimes we focus on a lot of technicalities. The MNO side has really helped. And like uh, Sylvia was talking about, 90 million. The last figure I saw in December um, on, on MNO transactions combined was over 165 trillion in the country. This has a huge impact in the economy. And therefore, we must, we must protect and safeguard digital channels in whatever form they come in. I am glad the security teams, and like my colleague Anthony, uh, spoke to this. They have a lot of information, useful information. In the banking sector, we are building blacklists, and we now have a collaboration agreement with Payment Service Providers Association, so that we share information as much as possible. Because any loss, any fraud, be it on the MNO side, on the banking side, hurts the economy and hurts the ecosystem and by extension hurts the economy because it undermines confidence across the system. Next Media, one of the other organizations um, I will recommend to you, I sit on its board, is the Deposit Protection Fund. They are a safety net player in case a financial institution goes under. And they're interested in awareness, and of course they, they are not for fraud, they, are, they want to fight fraud, but most importantly mobilize deposits. You have all heard about um, the Silicon Valley Bank. And they support fintechs. And it's had a fair share of challenges. And you've seen the effort that the central banks have come to quickly, quickly reassure depositors. This campaign speaks to that. And we must support it because if you know the history of money, it used to be cowrie shells, it went to gold, it became notes, now it's digital. And you can see that there is something called CBDCs, Central Bank Digital Currencies. And our economies will ultimately have to catch up. And if we do not safeguard digital services, we will be left out. I'm just re-emphasizing the background and the importance of this campaign, and I know this is on TV, and therefore I'm speaking not just to the audience here, to the country, to everybody, on the criticality of this important campaign. This campaign will build trust. It will support digital adoption, and that's the future. Because you have a record of transactions, you can quantify them, you can plan, and it will speak to the good things that government is doing. So as an association, as an umbrella body, uh, we, we are giving you the assurance we like this campaign, we will be part of it in a big way, we associate with it, 
and will support it. And I invite very many other institutions we work with across the sector, not just the regulators. We work with numerous institutions, nearly every sector, that we support it. The banking industry works closely with the judiciary, valuers, land surveyors, fintechs, name it, lawyers, everybody should associate and we shame them. And let's be courageous like Mulinge said. We had a, an, a fraud situation last year. The, the, the people involved were arrested. After a week, they were out of prison. That's not even worse. After another week, the same guys joined another fintech firm. And that fintech firm provides services to banks, and I'm sure to telecoms. That's how serious it is. So we look forward uh, to this campaign. We pledge our support to it. We say thank you to Next Media, and we will support it and pledge our full support once again. We have a session on the 23rd on fraud for the industry. We will list this as one of the very, very critical initiatives that we must support in addition to the others. And once again, I thank Next Media and indeed all the partners who accepted to join this. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, uh, Wilbrod Oro, ED at uh, the Uganda Bankers Association. We'll move on very quickly. It's now my pleasure to invite um, someone who is not just a regulator, but an engineer, and has, in a way, led the way for better study because we've been having lots of discussions with the commission about what to do about this problem. They've had some initiatives in this regard, and what we're doing simply is uh, reinforcing 